The quickest way to get rooms, roofs, and other items into your sketch is using keyboard shortcuts. I'm going to show you some shortcuts that you can use in your sketch. Most Xactimate users are familiar with pressing R to create a room, or B to activate the square break tool, or C to create a staircase. But not as many people know about some of these other shortcuts that are also extremely useful. I want to change the direction of the door in the kitchen, so I'll press the brackets key on the keyboard to flip it. I want to change the flooring covering direction in the kitchen, so I'll press the backslash key. This places an arrow on the cursor. I'll click and place it in the direction I want to. The direction of the floor covering will be changed. I want to add an arrow to the kitchen, emphasizing some damage, so I'll press the forward slash key. This places an arrow on the cursor. I'll click and place it in the direction I want to. To add a fence to the sketch, I'll press Ctrl F on the keyboard. The fence will be downloaded to the cursor. I'll click and drag on the area I want the fence to be placed. To add a dormer to the sketch, I'll press E on the keyboard and click OK. To rotate rooms, roofs, or staircases, use the Q shortcut on the keyboard. I want to rotate the dormer in the sketch, so I'll press Q on the keyboard. You can see that it has been rotated. If you want to rename a room, use the F2 shortcut. I want to rename the dormer in the sketch, and I'll press F2 on the keyboard and rename it. And those are some of the lesser known shortcuts you can use in Xactimate. Fill out the survey below to let us know if there's anything you'd like to learn more about, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more expert tips each week.